Thank you. Dramatic music here, I think. I quite like it. I was going to say good morning. It is still morning. We're running slightly behind. It's nearly good afternoon. Um, if things go well, some slides will appear behind me. If not, ah, I was going to tell some jokes. You've been spared. So I've got 10 minutes. Um, so I'm going to be quick. Um, the question I'm going to try and answer is, is social the new SEO? Well, I want to start by three slides telling you how SEO used to be done. It was incredibly easy, dead easy. Let me tell you how easy it was to rank if you have no idea about search engine optimization, say, I don't know, eight, nine, ten years ago, maybe less. You need to be able to do this. You need to be able to write some code. And you need to be able to write some code in a way that search engines could interpret. You definitely needed content. Great news was it didn't have to be any good. It didn't even have to be something that people would want to read. It just needed to be content that was friendly for a search engine. In fact, white text on a white background used to work really, really well. And the third and final thing you needed was a shared load of links. And it didn't matter where they came from. All you needed was lots and lots and lots of links. And the best way to do that was to buy them cheaply. Uh, bad news, if you try and do that, that kind of SEO is dead, completely dead. But is SEO dead? Well, no, SEO isn't dead. It's just tougher. It's just much, much tougher. I got a smile with a picture of the child. I think that, that's good. Um, so, you know, how do we do SEO now? Well, kind of similar in terminology. Technicals, still very important. You need to get some decent developers who understand how to build a site from an SEO-friendly point of view. Content is very important. Um, however, that content now needs to be highly relevant, highly engaging. And if you just try and write your content for Google, that will get noticed by Google and you will not rank. So trying to over-engineer your content is a bad idea. There's a fine line. Ultimately, write your content for the people that are going to consume the content, not the search engines. Uh, and third, but, also, but probably the most important, is authority enhancement. Uh, and I'm going to explain what I mean by authority enhancement. Best way of describing it is that first point. It's earned, not bought links. Well, what are earned links? And guess what? It's stuff as marketers we've been doing for years before the internet was actually, you know, had any kind of commercial benefit. It's things like PR. It's things like great shareable content. Excellent creative absolutely has a role to play and most definitely social. Let's answer that question now. Is social important? Does social help you rank? Um, you may have heard of a guy called Matt Cutts. He heads up the web spam team for Google. Uh, some people think he's a, 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 a demigod, um, so I put some wings on him here. This is his statement. Yes, social signals are part of our algorithm. I don't think that's very ambiguous. I think it's pretty obvious that absolutely social signals are part of the algorithm. So I've just given you the secret sauce, right? So great news. SEO is easy again, isn't it? But hang on, if it is that easy, how come so many companies are still failing? Well, I'm going to tell you, uh, and you might be a little bit surprised by this. As an agency who um, does a lot of digital marketing and a heck of a lot of search engine optimization, I'm going to blame an individual. It's this guy, Bob. Bob is my client. Bob's the guy, after I've done all of my hard work and said, right, this is your SEO strategy. This is how we get you to the top of Google and generate a heck of a lot of business for your, bus a heck of a lot of business for your organization. This is the guy I go to and say, here it is, Bob. And this is what Bob says. I've got your recommendations, but I need a few weeks to get it around the various departments. IT have said they can't do it yet. Or, more often than not, IT have said they won't do it. PR 
has said, yeah, well, the idea really kind of needs to be channeled through us, or worse than that, it needs to be then be channeled through our PR agency and then channeled back through us, and then we can talk about implementing that. Or, of course, you know, I've got to get the social guys involved. So Bob, who's my SEO contact, is failing me, right? There he is, there's the enemy, problem solved. But that's too simple, and plus I've got five minutes to go. Uh, I don't know that he is the enemy. He's easy to blame, but can he really solve the problems? He's trying. He's running around all those departments. He wants to do what I want to do. He wants success for his organization. He's trying to get all these teams to play together, but trouble is, you know, his title says SEO, and he needs the PR people, and the social people, and the IT people, and, and, and. So I don't think it is Bob's fault, but good news, I know who it really is. It's this person's fault. And if you have any doubt as to who this person is, it's your CEO. Let me tell you why I believe that it's the CEO's job to get digital marketing, but certainly SEO right. This is my fictitious CEO's office block. This is where the PR department are, usually near the top. Um, there's the social team. Here's the SEO team. Here's the content team. There's the partnerships team. Here's the brands team. IT is still in the basement, of course. Look at those departments and think about what they do and think about, um, well, how relevant are they from a search engine optimization perspective? I'll tell you how relevant they are. They're all got a big role to play in search engine optimization. So Bob is running up and down the stairs in the lift every day with bits of paper trying to justify things and failing. The CEO can fix that, and some people are doing it right. Uh, a big company in the UK is called Money Supermarket. It's a price comparison site. Uh, and here's what they had to say on social and SEO. We have dissolved the SEO and social media teams in their traditional form and remolded them to be more consumer value and campaign centric. Where Money Supermarket has been most successful from its core employees to its board, I think that last bit's important, is by being very ambitious and progressive in removing organizational barriers. They've changed their organization. So if you need to convince your CEO, show him some numbers, him or her some numbers. And these are some numbers from Money Supermarket. These are some terms, five terms, that they want to rank for. The numbers next to them are UK search engine traffic for those terms in a given month. And this is where they rank. They do pretty well. I've done some basic calculations. I might have got it slightly out. I don't know. Um, but I reckon monthly, just from those five terms, they're generating about one and a half million euros of revenue a month. Share that with your CEO and he or she will start to listen to the idea that actually to achieve success in SEO, but I think wider than that, digital marketing in general, you need to consider organizational change. So let me just quickly sum up. Uh, nope, afraid not. It's not that easy. Social is not the new SEO. It is definitely part of it, absolutely part of it. But to get it right, you absolutely need to consider organizational change. It will make your life easier. It'll make my life easier as well, because we're all trying to achieve the same things. And so finally, let's ease up on Bob. It's not really his fault. Blame that guy. And if you are that guy, if you are a CEO in the room, think about organizational change to really, really propel your business forward in the digital age. I've got one minute left, uh, and I won't take it up because I think lunch is coming soon. Um, if you'd like to discuss anything I've talked about or anything about digital marketing, um, I'm Glenn from Sticky Eyes. We have a stand. I'm joined by my colleague, Paul. Uh, we're here both days. Thank you very much for your time.